Alright dear students, the topic that we are doing is manufacturing accounts and we have another question for manufacturing account with the name of Nathan Akril. So Nathan Akril is a sole trader who has successfully run a manufacturing business for many years. Okay, he has been doing it since long time. His business manufactures one product, the form. Okay, they are only making one product. So which is the first requirement that we need to solve? The first requirement is that for the year ending 31st December 2011, we need to prepare what? We need to prepare a manufacturing account. Now let us see beta, how to prepare a manufacturing account. First of all, it's better to make format first and then we can fill in the values. So we'll be starting with beta direct raw material. Okay. And how to calculate that? We'll be starting with opening inventory. But the opening inventory would be for raw material. And then we need to add purchases. Again, the purchase should also be relating to what? raw material then if there is any purchase return we need to deduct that we are not going to write return outward or inward now we are just going to write sales return uh, after sales and purchase return after purchase then we need to add carriage inwards and the carriage inward should also be relating to bit of what raw material so in this heading all of the things belong to the raw material then we have closing inventory and why are we closing uh, deducting the closing inventory because beta this raw material is not yet been used this raw material will be used in the following year that is next year so the final answer for this raw material part is cost of raw material consumed cost of raw material consumed beta means uh, we have used this much raw material this year cost of raw material consumed beta after raw material we have direct labor after raw material we have direct labor direct material then direct labor direct labor also known as factory wages okay factory wages or direct laborers are the workers who are working directly in the factory to make the product and then we have third direct thing known as direct expense also known as royalty so there are only two names for direct expense and royalty and if the examiner mentions a general expense or factory expense then that must not be a direct expense instead it will be an indirect expense that will be written under factory over it now, beta, if we add up all of the direct cost, direct raw material, direct labor, direct expense, sum of all direct costs is known as prime cost. Okay, we are done with prime cost. After prime cost, beta, we have factory overhead or production overhead. What is overhead, beta? Overhead are costs that cannot be traced directly to a product. Uh, this means if we are making a product and we have incurring some costs such as factory rent, we cannot tell that as to how much rent we need to pay for each single unit and how much insurance needs to be paid and how much needs to be paid to the supervisor for uh, making one unit because supervisor is not making a unit himself supervisors are just making sure that uh, workers are making the products or not okay so then in the end uh, we will be uh, adding work in progress and all such things so beta will be starting with opening inventory let us read the question first and then we can move further so let us see uh, read the question first on 1st january 2011 that is start of the year there were 1000 squams in inventory so basically squam is beta our finished product so right now we are not concerned with finished product and right now we are concerned with only raw material or work in progress so i am uh, leaving this part right now production is transferred from factory to sales department at cost plus 40 percent so beta, a percentage that is based on cost is known as markup so uh, or the percentage that is based on selling price also known as transfer price in this case in manufacturing uh, the goods that factory is charging from the outlet would be termed as transfer price okay so if the percentage is based on the price then it must be known as margin percentage and if the percentage is based on cost then it must be termed as markup percentage okay so if it's written cost plus 40 percent this means it's a markup okay so i'm skipping this part because uh, it won't be used in the first requirement and what happened that uh, nathan what have he done he has just prepared one uh, uh, statement and he has named his at income statement uh, but the thing is that income statement doesn't contain uh, things of the factory okay it doesn't contain raw material income statement only contain finished goods then income statement uh, must not contain purchase of raw material so what has he done he has mixed both manufacturing account and income statement okay he must have skipped the accounting classes so therefore he has done like that so 
uh, again manufacturing wages are also there and office items are also there but uh, in income statement everything relates to uh, other than factory must come but in manufacturing account anything that relates to the factory must come so what we need to do beta we need to prepare manufacturing account first and then we'll be moving forward to the next part how to prepare an income statement now let us find anything that we need and skip the other things we need opening inventory for what beta of raw material so let us see beta what does opening inventory for raw material do we have as you can see beta 1st january 2011 it's basically opening inventory and what is the opening inventory for raw material is given opening inventory for raw material is given as 31000 okay after opening inventory beta would comes purchase and purchase again we need purchases for what of raw material and how much is that beta 261000 so do we have any purchase return let's go through the question and see are there any purchase returns no beta we cannot find any purchase return so we can skip the purchase return part just write dash in front of that do we have any carriage inwards Yes, as you can see, carriage inward. Another name for carriage inward is carriage on raw material. Okay, so if the examiner doesn't mentions that carriage uh, relates to finished goods, beta, we will always be assuming that carriage relates to raw material. So we need to add carriage inward for raw material. Then, do we have beta any closing inventory? Yes, we have closing inventory for raw material as well. As you can see, beta, inventory at thirty first December. It must be a closing. and the raw material closing inventory is given as 46400 okay so if we add and subtract all of these it will be termed as cost of raw material consumed now beta the two columns are just for a uh, presentation or illustration purpose and these two column doesn't means it's a debit or credit uh, all of the items that need to be plus minus would be written in the first year and the sub totals would be written in the second column but after direct labor the second thing that we need to find is direct labor after direct material it's direct labor or factory wages now let us see do we have any factory wages beta another name for factory is manufacturing as you have studied previously factory manufacturing or production means the same thing okay factory wages means a uh, factory workers wages also known as sometime factory operatives okay operatives are operators who are working on the machine so we are going to charge this manufacturing wages as factory wages so uh, do we have any direct expense or royalty so beta there are only two names for direct expense and royalty it's direct expense and royalty itself so it's written here beta clearly direct expense and if the examiner says factory expense then it must be an indirect expense which would be written under factory overhead okay if we add up beta all of the direct cost direct raw material direct labor and direct expense sum of all direct cost would be termed as prime cost so after prime cost beta there would be factory overhead overhead is any cost that has incurred in the factory but cannot be traced directly to the product now let us see supervisor wages yes supervisor is one who doesn't make a product but instead make sure that people are not making us <laughs> people are not uh, what will be saying that acha then beta we have supervisor wages uh, we are making sure that people are doing their work on time and they are not uh, just uh, wasting a factory's time we have supervisor wages then we have factory rent beta anything that relates to the factory would needs to be charged here factory rent is also an indirect cost do we have any other overheads office beta office things admin or selling and marketing should not be charged here only things should be charged here relating to factory then beta we have depreciation of what factory machinery factory machinery depreciation is how much 13800 depreciation of factory machinery it's 13800 so beta we are done with all of the overheads and as you can see we do not have admin and selling and office shouldn't be charged here and finally if we add up all of these Uh, we are done with what uh, these are the overheads beta and these are the direct cost if we add up both direct and indirect cost then this final value is right now uh, we say it's as a no name figure because we need to adjust what work in progress also in this figure but as you can see there is no work in progress we cannot find any work in progress here as you can see only raw material and finished goods inventory is given so therefore we do not leave anything incomplete 
okay we just uh, make sure that everything is completed okay there is no inventory for uh, work in progress so if there is no work in progress better this uh, no name figure would be treated as production cost or manufacturing cost or factory cost so this is the cost that is being incurred by nathan ekrel in this year in making the products and finally we need to charge the factory profit also here as you can see that nathan uh, production is transferred from factory to sales outlet at cost plus 40 percent so what happens beta factory is also charging some of the profit and how much is it beta it's 40 percent so we need to add up 40 percent to the manufacturing cost and finally beta the value that we do have is transfer value of finished goods okay transfer value or market value of finished goods what does this mean beta, this is the price that the factory is going to charge at their own outlet for the goods okay and this is basically the purchase cost for the outlet and obviously outlet also want, wants to earn some profit so outlet would not sell it for this amount instead outlet will be selling it for higher amount maybe 1 million okay and that would be the outlet's profit